Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to bring you a video that discusses five wild edibles and medicinal plants that can be harmful to you. In this video, we are going to discuss the chemicals in each plant that are the most harmful as well as reasons why they can be harmful. So without further ado, let's get started. Number five is the May Apple. The May Apple is a low-growing, colonizing plant that many know of for its fruits. However, it can be deadly poisonous as well. All of the parts of the May Apple are poisonous except for the ripe fruits, and even then, you have to be careful to use just the pulp of those fruits. The root is used medicinally, but should be avoided unless you know exactly what you're doing with it. The toxic compound is called podophyllotoxin, and this compound is known for interrupting the cellular mitosis within the cells that it is applied to. This can be beneficial in things like genital wards, but can also have a very devastating effect on healthy cells. It will also interrupt the other activities of cells by inhibiting DNA synthesis. This causes the cells to no longer divide normally, which will cause the destruction of the affected tissue. Number four is wild lettuce. Wild lettuce is a common lawn and garden nuisance that has amazing medicinal properties from easing pain to helping its patients relax and to sleep better. However, it does have some toxicity to it because it contains chemicals like lactucic acid and lactoserine. These have been reported as reasons for its effectiveness, but they can also be dangerous if too much of the plant is ingested. Some of the dangers are mydriasis or dilation of the pupils, dizziness, headache, dysrhythmia in the respiratory and cardiovascular systems. Dysrhythmia is basically when the normal pattern of those organs is affected, causing abnormal heartbeat and breathing patterns within those who have consumed way too much. Number three is bone set. Bone set is a beautiful flowering plant that's commonly used for colds and flus and historically was used to treat malaria as well as dengue fever. Bone set can be used relatively safely when dried, however, when fresh, it does contain trimerol, which has some serious implications if used in too high of an amount. Those implications are high rate of breathing and vomiting, which is ironic as when dried, the plant can be taken to prevent vomiting within the common flu. Take too much fresh bone set and it can even lead to coma or death while also adding to liver toxicity, so it can also be dangerous for alcoholics and those with impaired liver functions. Number two is a dandelion. Dandelion is a very popular edible and medicinal plant that has some amazing benefits if used properly for food and medicine. Though it's generally considered safe, it is not for everyone. That's because dandelion can lower blood pressure and blood sugar levels. Those taking medications for these ailments should most likely avoid the dandelion as its use can cause the blood pressure or the blood sugar levels to drop to drastic amounts, causing severe side effects. The main chemicals in dandelion are taraxacin and taraxacerin, which is partly where the first part of its Latin name, taraxicum, actually comes from. Number one is pokeweed. Pokeweed is a beautiful plant that produces very showy berries late in the year towards the end of summer and the beginning of fall. Many know of this plant from using it as poke salad, not salad, as many may misconstrue. Poke salad is made by boiling the young shoots in one or two changes of water to remove the toxins. As the plant ages, it becomes more toxic, producing more and more phytolacotoxin, or an acidic saponin with all the plant parts. The root will have the highest amount of this phytolacotoxin, but it can be found in all parts of the plant. Some of the signs of mild pokeweed poisoning are excess mucus production, gastrointestinal cramps, as, bloody, as well as bloody diarrhea and vomiting. Severe poisoning from pokeweed can cause anemia, an altered heart rate, and respiration, as well as respiratory failure, which can lead to death. So that covers five different wild edibles and medicinal plants that can also be extremely harmful to you. And I hope this video has taught you guys something, and I hope you guys learned a little bit from this video. I thank all of you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.